Well, hello, quarantine babies, and welcome to week three of an eight-part sketchbook series where we'll be learning to draw and enjoy ourselves during quarantine. I am Maggie Smith Kuhn. I am a professional artist, and I will be guiding you. Uh, maybe you're just now starting to learn how to draw. Maybe you've kept a sketchbook every day of your life. What we are going to be learning is uh, precision and lack of preciousness in your drawing. What does that mean exactly? Well, when you're starting to learn to draw, you can really hang on to every little thing you learn. So every drawing is, you know, like so special to you that you have a hard time erasing things, doing it again, starting all over, scrapping the whole idea. So getting less precious is about drawing from life and doing something over and over and over and over again until you're looking at the whole picture instead of getting mired in the details. If you have been getting mired in the details, this is your episode. Yay! I'm going to draw these roses in this vase um, just because it's something easy to show you and it's a little bit complex if you look at it right like the entire structure but I can do 30 second drawings one minute drawings two minute drawings five minute drawings and there will be levels to the amount of detail that I give this as we go through and work for speed I think speed is a great way to help you get less precious so let's get into it Go ahead and set up your space so that you feel cozy and ready to draw. I lit a candle, I have some coffee, I have my favorite pillow to sit on, and I have my subject. In this case, a vase of roses, but you are welcome to draw whatever makes you happy and seems relatively easy for you. Dogs were getting too restless while I was filming, so I had to put the curtains up. And I miss my baby girl. Oh, Lucy. I love you, baby. Hi, baby girl. So I'm going to be doing a 30 second drawing, a one minute drawing, and a two minute drawing of this same object, the vase of roses. When I work with those time constraints, I get less likely to get caught up in the details, and I look at an object as the whole picture, and I work the drawing like I'm working the entire image that I want to create. It will help you with speed, it will help you with confidence, and most of all, you can't get too emotional about the image because you just don't have time. You'll notice with the 30 second drawing that I don't have much time other than to make lines happen. So line work is really important and you want something fluid. Uh, I want the idea of a rose in a vase more than I care about it looking like the actual object. Perfect. I'm just focusing on the big shapes I see. I am not getting into the details. Don't have time for it. All right, and that's it. Um, I encourage you to do many, many, many 30 second drawings. I think 30 second drawings are actually the most educating. You should constantly be going like this, which means that you're looking up at the object, looking down at your drawing, looking up at the object, looking down at your drawing. Uh, your short term memory has got to be pretty sharp to be able to draw from life. So you should be looking at a thing and measuring it with your eye and then bam, trying to get that down on the page, then forget about that old thing and look at the next thing. And then just constantly record. You're making yourself a recorder, okay? Now we're gonna try a one minute drawing. It's amazing how much longer one minute is compared to 30 seconds when you've been only drawing 30 second drawings. In art school, we would be forced to create only 30 second drawings of a model, like a human model. And it was super tricky. <laughs> and uh, I recall some teachers uh, being really intense about just like ripping it off the easel and throwing it on the ground and doing another one and doing another one. And uh, you know, at the time I hated it, but that is how you get better. Uh, I would walk out of those classes and man, like I had so much more confidence in just getting down to business when I would draw.
Maybe you got a little time during that one minute drawing to shade. Maybe you didn't question yourself. Maybe you just went for it. Let's try two minutes. I want you to see if you can maintain that confidence. Uh, maybe that confidence is coming from fear and panic because you just got to go, go, go. But let's see if you can maintain that feeling, that energy for a two minute drawing. Go ahead and set your timer. a little bit when I felt the 30 second one in particular. I was just like, ah, my God, I gotta get it done. Um, but if you can push through that and just get the drawings out, you're gonna get so much better. You're just gonna crush it with your artwork. Um, I hope this has been helpful and I challenge you to keep going, do these all week. You know, if you wanna do multiples on one page, that could be really cool looking. Um, you could even try and do 30 seconds and then 30 seconds on top of that and 30 seconds on top of that and take photos so you can see how your work grows. That could be really interesting. There's a lot of ways that you could go with this timed challenge. So it's hard, isn't it? It's hard. <laughs> this is the challenge that will help you with confidence. It'll help you get better. Uh, it's what made me quick with my work because of fear. <laughs> so it should do the same thing for you. I really challenge you to get as much output as you can during this week. Um, as always, I will be going live on my Instagram Monday at 1 p.m. and I will be talking you through your individual problems. So you are welcome to uh, reach out to me then. And happy sketching. I'll see you next week.